All right, good morning. Good morning to everyone out there. Um, this is Joshua Logan. I am with winmore4xtrades.com. Um, and quickly, what I want to show you guys um, right now, it is it is 11.07. Um, it is Monday, December 3rd, 2018. And um, real quickly here, I just want to show you guys the power of trendline trading and the um uh, the steps on how to find crown formations in the market if you guys follow me follow my facebook page uh when or if you're in uh any one of the groups that i currently are in <clears throat> um you can see where i've been making posts um, in the markets finding crown formations and how the fibonacci's on those crown formations um have fulfilled and actually, we had a few uh, crown formations that have fulfilled already. And uh, real quickly here, I just want to show you guys the power of trend line trading and the price, the five steps to finding uh, crown formations in the market. And how these two steps alone, these two strategies, these two techniques can help you start seeing more profits in the Forex markets. Oh, just give me a little sip of water. All right, here, as you can see, um, um, we're using the Smart Trader charting system. It's uh, smarttrader.com. Uh, anybody can sign up for this. It's um, based off of you having a laptop or a PC. And the charting is better done. It's, um, it's done better when you're on a, a laptop or a PC. But um, we are at a the British pound against the Canadian dollar. This is the four hour chart. And right now, you can see we have a outer trend line and we have a inner trend line. Now this trend line out here, this is your outer trend line. And <clears throat> this trend line here is your inner trend line. Now, when it comes to power of trend lines, um, it's just very simple. Once the market breaks a trend line, the market will gravitate towards the next trend line. So the market will break this inner trend line and then gravitate into the outer trend line. And then once this outer trend line is broken, now we're starting to see a change in momentum from this uptrend and start seeing a downtrend. So let's go forward in the markets you see the market is waving up and down markets making highs and lows now the market is testing this uptrend line right now it looks like the market wants to honor that uptrend line price held for a few days and because it's the four hour chart so each one of these candlesticks represent four hours so um <clears throat> So that was a few days the market honored that trend line and held that price. So now right here you can see the market breaks the trend line, then tries to come back up to test the backside of the trend line. Didn't make it all the way up, but now the market has did what we consider entering the sell zone. So we write that out. This is what's considered the sell zone. <clears throat> all right hold on see if i can get it together here okay for some reason it's not gonna let me change the coloring okay so the market has entered into what we call the sell zone because trend lines we use them for purposes of separating the market into a buy zone and a sell zone and to gauge when a low price is needed or well, a low price has formed when we can start buying this market or once the market comes into the sell zone we can begin to start selling the market <clears throat> so the market has entered to sell the sell zone broken the inner trend line and as you can see now the market is still waving in the sell zone that was actually a good high price there at the 1808 
seven price range. That was a nice high price to start selling the market and the market goes down. It doesn't move in straight lines. The market will go up and down and it will make waves all the way until we reach that outer trend line. And there it is right there. The market in, the market has tested that outer trend line. Once the market breaks a trend line, it will gravitate toward the next trend line. That right there is what's called the power of trend line trading or, or just the power of trend lines. And if you were to wait until the market had broken into the sell zone, you would have had a high price entry here. You had another high price entry there. And if you would was able to get this entry and trade it until we touched this trend line that was 446 pips now it took a couple of days uh, maybe a, a, a yeah it took a couple of days maybe a, a few weeks I think it was about two or three weeks that um, it took f for this to happen but 446 pips you know at a micro lot um, at a micro lot which is 10 cent per pip or the lot size of 0 0.01 is 10 cent per pip 446 pips you would have had 45 bucks at a mini lot which is 0 0.10 or um one dollar per pip then you would have seen 445 bucks and if you would have went in at a standard lot which is one zero zero and that equivalent and that's equivalent to ten dollars per pip you would have saw four thousand four hundred and fifty dollars and you would have saw that in now in a couple of weeks here so from uh, okay this candlestick here was April 9th 2018 and this candlestick is see April 30th so from the 9th to the 30th which is about 20 21 days you guys would have made 45 bucks or you made 445 bucks at a mini lot or you would have made 4,450 bucks at a standard lot. And that's just using the power of trend lines, not anything else, not support resistance, nothing. It's once the market broke this trend line and you would have sold and you would have just rolled the waves all the way down to this outer trend line, you would have bought in this and just letting the market do what it does <clears throat> and you could do that easily with no effort just just plugging in some numbers on your phone if you're using the uh, MetaTrader 4 app and as you can see right now the market did break that outer trend line and then the market comes back up and then the market continues to fall so that right there is what's called power of trend line trading. So now we'll get rid of this and I want to show you guys the crown formations. And this is another um this is another reversal pattern that's um that can help you guys gauge when a um, a reversal is coming from a uptrend to a uh, downtrend. So basically what you want to do is you want to bring in Fibonacci's from the on the lowest point of the trend. So the Fibonacci's and we can get into Fibonacci's as well. That's another great way to gauge uh, stop losses and and take profit points. And as you can see, we got one, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Fibonacci swings that worked inside of this uptrend. But we're only going to focus on the first two. All right, so when it comes to crown formations, the first step in a crown formation 
is the market breaks a trend line. So that's step one. Market breaks a trend line. Here's your first step right here. Step one, market breaks a trend line. Market breaks a trend line. All right. Now step two, which is we're going to start marking these levels out so you can guys can see it. The market, step two, the market will take out in Fibonacci A. So this would be your Fibonacci A right here. What this black line, this black horizontal line is. That is your Fibonacci A from this A to B Fibonacci swing. The market took out this A. The market took out this A. So that's step two. Let's type that up. Step two, market takes out Fib A. All right, there's step two, market takes out Fibonacci A. Now, step three, we're going to mark this off as well. And you guys can make this any color that you like. I like it to be teal. We will anticipate the left tip of the crown. And the left tip simply is the B high or the highest point of this left tip of the previous A B Fibonacci swing that was fulfilled. So you have your A, your B, then your C retracement down to the 618, and then the market went up to the 1618 is where you would have took your profit. So that is the B high. That is the left tip of the crown. And you can already see right now you got that's a grand level of resistance 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 the market held that price in the sell zone after breaking this down this uh inner tr uh inner trend line so that is step three step three identify the left tip of the crown all right, there's step three. Now, step four, we're going to anticipate the right tip of the crown once the market has crowned. And basically what that means is once the market, the, the market crowns, once this A has been taken out. So here was when the market crowned, when the market actually crowned here, when this Fibonacci A was taken out. But... In order to get a right tip, the market must retrace. So the market continued to fall to the south, and then it retraced up here. So that Fibonacci, so this uh, right tip of the crown formed here. So we're going to mark. Uh, we're going to type that up. Step four: anticipate. Anticipate the right tip of the crown. That is step four, and that will be the right tip of the crown right there. And step five, you want to start selling. Step five will start selling. Oh, no, nope, that's too soon. All right, step five, we'll start selling counter trend line breaks at the right tip of the crown. And basically what a counter trend line is, we just bring it in, counter trend line. Once the market closes below with a, a bearish candlestick, you sell. Then at the next retracement, we have another retracement here. Bring your counter trend line in. Market closes bearish, you sell the market. You have another retracement. Once the market closes bearish below this below this counter trend line, you sell the market. And right now you have one, two, three selling opportunities that you should that you will have been in. And that is uh step five. Step five. Start selling the market. at the form of the right tip.
there it is there's your step five and now we can draw up the king's crown said the king's crown is hold on I like to have things color coordinated so here's your crown you have your left tip center tip you have your right tip where the market crowned where it made its, made its retracement and there's your crown formation now we can bring in what we call Fibonacci's on this crown formation you bring that you start from the top and you bring it from where the market retraced up to the right tip of the crown and right now you have a two three six retracement and let's see what this crown decided to do so for two of a um I have a two two three six retracement then we will go down to the one six one eight on the crown Fibonacci's and let's see if the market wants to do that uh, we'll just take our time keep going forward the market is going up now it's continuing to go up market goes up a little higher now we're still holding our trade still holding it market goes all the way back up see how the market goes all the way back up and test as past support uh, your past support becoming future resistance of this Fibonacci A that was taken out. Market came all the way back up and tested this. So now this right tip, this right tip now comes here because that's a deeper retracement. And we still let a 382 bounce. So that crown formation is still valid until this A is taken out. So we're going to keep going forward, keep going forward, up, oh, down, now we have it. The market has started to fall again, bring in trend line. Market breaks trend line, start selling the market. That's one, two, that's four selling opportunities now. Okay, continue to go. And let's see what the market wants to do. Did I freeze up? Okay, there we go. Up now the market is falling, market is falling. Should have one trade that's in big profits now, and you're probably starting to see profits from your other three trades now. Market continues to fall and fall and fall. And we're getting close to the 1618 retracement, and there it is. 1618 retracement has been fulfilled. You guys, one, two, three, four trade, four sell trades, and your 618 extension has been hit. Uh oh. Went up a little too fast. But your 618 extension has been hit. And once the 618 extension has been hit, the market likes, the market will retrace back towards the north. But in essence at the break of that counter trend line all the way to the 1618d extension 846 pips and as we did the math before at a standard lot that is eight thousand four hundred and sixty six dollars and that's just off of that one trade letting your trade holding your trade letting your trade do what it has to do riding the waves all the way down to the 1618 extension off of the Fibonacci uh, crown formation. And that's pretty much how it works, guys. And as you can see, the, right at the 1618 extension, it's holding that support, support, support. Market is going to a consolidation range. And there right now is our live price at, on December third 2018 that's the live price with that at that 618 that 1618 d extension on the four hour chart so guys i hope you guys give you 
Hope this gave you guys some value. Um, I will be posting this up to my website on YouTube and posting this to my Facebook fan page and in the groups that I'm associated with. But um, if you guys are interested in learning the seven simple techniques to winning more Forex trades, please feel free to go to the website and check out our services page. And there you can um, be able to purchase the videos that come, seven videos that come showing you all the, the uh, techniques that I learned from other successful traders that's helping me to remain profitable in the Forex. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.